Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and it's the 1st of June! Hello, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video to talk about what could potentially be coming up in the month of June! Of course, this is the last month before anniversary should hit, as you can see here, previous years. Uh, July is when we start, usually around the 3rd. I think it's usually either the 3rd or the 7th. 6th. Uh... The 3rd. And then here it is. Yep, July 7th. So yeah, this is going to be basically the final month before uh, everyone either stops playing the game because they didn't get Castoria or they play a bunch of the game because they have Castoria and now they have to grind all her materials. <laughs> Either one can happen, so let's look into it and see how it is. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like. It helps the video, it helps the channel a whole bunch whenever I'm doing anything. If you want me to cover more stuff of anything, the best way for me to know that is to literally leave a like. That's how I know. Uh, comment down below. You can tell me how you plan to be. <laughs> I'm going to say right now, I'm going to assume everyone's plan is save, but that might be harder for some than others. And uh, yeah, and subscribe to me if you want some more stuff. I do a bunch of stuff, but I'll gladly always talk about Fugo. But anyway, here's what we currently got going, and this is because it's May. Um, we're currently in Las Vegas Championship match. This ends on June 12th. And then from 12th, how many weeks until the 3rd? We have at least one, two, three more weeks after that. So with that in mind, um, on the JP side of the game, June had basically just Las Vegas official bout rerun and the interlude campaign. Here's the thing. We already have both. The interlude campaign came first and then the event revival. So what's most likely to happen here is that the next event over... Um, we're gonna probably get hunting quests at some point. Yeah, which chances are, are it's gonna be hunting quests, and and along with hunting quests is the swimsuit AOE uh, NP only summoning campaign. And then after that, it is gonna likely be um, the Seraph main interlude. And then this only like lasts a week, which is funny. I think it's only free for a week, but it's always there in the shop for you to buy. Um, I wonder if this also means that the summon- is there a summon campaign? Yeah, there is a summon campaign. That must mean what it is here for. Um, yeah, this is basically Seraph comes back as a main interlude, which means you can buy it whenever you want and stuff like that. And then the event that's totally not going to be happening around the time of anniversary until after is, uh, the Ukiyo. Um, this event is way too long. <laughs> I think it's a, it takes around two weeks, but let me just be sure here. It, originally in Japan, it ran from July 22nd to August 5th, so that is around one, two, that's two week long event, and that's a lot for a rerun that's singly focused on one unit, so chances are the way it's going to be posed, which is I think the way the wiki has it currently, is that it's likely going to be, um, be the CC, and then the anniversary, and then right before summer, we'll get an Ukiyo rerun followed into summer right afterwards, is my guess. But at that point, it will be the next month. Um, if there was anything that might get moved up, I don't know if, like... So let's see, if this takes a week, and this takes a week... Now let's see, starting from June the 12th... Uh, we can go here, I can look at June 12th. So let's assume something starts immediately after June 12th. And it lasts about a week, and it goes until the 19th. And then we have another week. We still have another week until anniversary. So, there's, I mean, there might just be a dead week for a week, to be honest. Um, if there's anything that could potentially get moved up, it's, I think, the All Statesman. That's the most likely. Actually, funny enough, All Statesman happens right before... Huh, did we never... Oh... Wait, am I crazy? Yeah, okay, so all statesmen actually happens right before the anniversary. So that's probably what will get moved up. Is it we'll get all statesmen. Um, actually, no, this is a part of anniversary. We can't get this early. I forgot that this is totally a part of anniversary. Alright, so chances are he's not getting that, but this we can tell what they get. The Servant Sync with uh, strengthening quests. Unless, did we already get this action? It's the thing about moving out of order is sometimes I'm not sure when we've gotten something already or not. Let's see, our last Servant Strengthening Quest should have been... I'm gonna assume no based off everything I'm seeing. Interlude campaign that's different. 
Okay, let's see. Still nothing. Okay, that seems to be the most likely candidate. So that, you know, we'll have stuff. It won't be a full dead week, which is nice. We'll have some other stuff to kind of do along with it. Uh, now, in terms of banners, funny enough, the banner-wise, it's actually kind of not tough. Tough isn't the right word. But it is kind of annoying. Because the summoning campaign for CCC actually introduces a lot of fan favorite characters for a lot of people. It has Melt, which is well loved, which is why Summer Melt is also probably why some people would summon. Some people specifically only summoned for Summer Melt, and that's the only summer unit they cared about. So the Melt love is strong. So if they don't have the five star Melt, they chances are will gladly throw whatever savings they have if they don't have her. King Protea. Everyone loves King Protea. She's the giant kaiju daughter. Who doesn't love that is not Bunyan. I guess the legit actual kaiju. Palm Bunyan is small most of the time. And then we have Passion Lip, the woman with a huge heart of gold. Who doesn't love I love Passion Lip. I think she's cool. I think she's neat. There's nothing wrong with Lip. That's what I'm gonna say right now. And we have Sasuke and Sagoza. So yeah, the three of these characters extremely well loved. <laughs> Suzuki Gozen also, I think, has fans, but in terms of the big, she's always on banner, so I don't really count it. But these three, definitely, Sakura Face is all well loved. Definitely plenty of people who would want to go for them. And then before that, when we look at the, um, the AoE only, this one's actually kind of messed up, because if I remember right... So is it the swimsuit plus AoE NP only? That's a weird combination. <laughs> Um, it should just honestly be only swimsuit units because that's the one you would care most about. There's no rate up for the limited servants appearing on this banner. Do not summon. There's no easier way for me to say this. Just don't summon. I know I like Nero. I would gladly summon for Nero. But it's not a good idea. Just don't do it. Even for these uh, mystic codes here. Not mystic codes. Craft essences. What the hell was I talking about? Damn, there's a lot of them, though. And I am missing some of these from getting their full um, max and limit broken, but it's not worth it to chase them. <laughs> just like it's not worth it to chase them on here. There will be better banners featuring a lot of the swimsuit units, so just hold off on it for now is my general feeling on that one. And hunting quest, there's usually nothing comes with hunting quests. The thing that comes with this is just that. Let me see the things that we can grab for hunting quests. Did we actually get this early? Let me double check on this one, because like, sometimes I swear we get stuff way too early. Okay, Hunting Quest 7. So, no. Okay, this would not be it. Um, let's see, we have Grinding Thing for... Uh, is it Dragon Fang? Yeah, it looks like a Dragon Fang to me. Dragon Fang, ooh, and the Seashell of Remembrance. It's nice. Probably not as good of a drop as that one, but still something. This one we got bullets, but it has to be... Ooh, and with seashells. Do all of them come with seashells? With the potential of a seashell, I should say. This one is the... What is this called? The Crown of Radiant Silver. There you go. And the Snake uh, Jewel. But also seashells. I like seashells. You can never have enough of them, because every summer unit uses seashells. <laughs> So you can always have a buttload of them. I believe this is the Phoenix Feather and the Spirit Root. And the Mahanga. This one. Ooh, this one. Yes. I'm going to be grinding this one because it has the egg. It probably is at a terrible rate, if I were to guess it. But anything to grind uh, eggs before Castoria shows up is going to be a welcome grind for me. So I'll keep an eye on that for that hunting quest for sure. But yeah, that's basically the month. It's a pretty chill month. It's basically a free month for a lot of people. Um, there is some, uh, like I said previously, some pretty uh, fan favorite units. Basically just melt at this point. And to be fair, the summer units which are going on right now, which if you've already summoned for them, then you've already wasted everything. And now you're just kind of waiting for Castoria to give you that extra boost. And when we actually get to the anniversary, Kama's really good. So I would be surprised if some people are going to be skipping Castoria for Kama just because they like Sakura. It's really the killer's row of Sakura faces. It's like BB. To be fair, she's free. 
which is melt, lip, uh, protea, comma, and then I think some... No, BB Summer... Oh, no, BB Summer 3 is in this one. <laughs> you can get the the tan BB if that's what you're choosing, if you're lucky enough, that is. But yeah, this is the big saving update, so... Hang on there, everyone. We're almost at the finish line, and we're literally just a month away. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day. I wish you all the best of luck if you do decide to summon, and the best of luck in general. In life, huh? Why not? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out! Bye-bye!